Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is um, showing my process for making some artist trading coins that were the original idea of Crafty Hodges here on YouTube. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually using the remainder of some die cut butterflies that I got from uh, some happy mail from my stamp passport group. Um, I have done a page using them with something else, but I had a couple left over, so I thought I would make some artist trading coins with them. And the coins are very similar to how I did the actual page as well. What I've done here, as you can see, I've used some Distress uh, Oxide to colour just a photo pa paper that's from a photocopy machine. And I did also use a Distress Ink too. Um, it was a different colour, but it's very hard to tell the difference between the two. Now I've just stamped over the top with the... It's a Kaser Craft stamp, and it's Oriental script, it's called. So it kind of gives it a um, an Asian feel to it. Now I've used my... It's a two and a quarter punch, and I've punched out two circles, and I also have two two and a half inch um, black circles which I'm going to use as backgrounds. You can see I'm just using a sharpie to go along the edges of the butterfly and I did put a little bit of the script stamp on the actual butterflies as well as they were just plain red so I thought I'd give them a little bit of texture. Just going around the edges now with the sharpie of the actual photocopy paper. And now I'm just giving a little bit of an outline circle around the outside just using the gel pen. Coloring in the, little part, the middle part of the butterfly, the body part. Putting a little bit of decoration on the butterfly. Not too much, just very simple. Not sure if you can hear the rain from outside but it's absolutely pouring down today not at all inspiring to go out at all and just doing the second one there and what I did I thought they looked a little plain so I've just ripped up some tissue paper, scrunched it up and placed it underneath the butterfly. And I did try to distress the edges a little bit but it didn't work very well. And I'm also going to use some Tim Holtz uh, paper as well for the second one. Just so they're not both exactly the same. I still wasn't overly impressed so I went and grabbed some black, um, just normal sewing thread and sort of bunching that underneath as well just to give it a little bit more interest and now just gluing everything down trying to scrunch that cotton up so that it doesn't keep popping up. I'm using, um, it's a PVA glue 
and it's in a double-ended sort of bottle tube it's got a finer point on one end and it's sort of a, a fatter spreading sort of area on the, the other end And I thought I would grab some um, little flat back pearl uh, things to put on it. The ones I originally tried, these ones, they were a little bit too big. So you'll see that I um, pull it off and I, I get a second pack. And I've used the, um, the gold, I think they're gold ones, these ones. And just a little bit of glue because I weren't sticking that well. Unfortunately, they were still a little big to do three. I normally like to do an odd number, but I had to settle for two. And that's the finished one, and finished two. And then I remembered I was going to put a sentiment on, so just some quick little sentiments. Now we have love and relax. So that's my little project for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.